what up it's an Ivern, and today I'm going to show you how you can evolve your Bisharp into a King's Gambit in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So to start it off, you're going to need to get yourself a Bisharp, but most importantly, a Bisharp that is surrounded by Pawniards, because that is officially deemed a leader. So what we need to do is we need to catch a leader and get something called a leader's crest. Now the best way to do that is you see these Pawniards walking around on their own with the really rigid legs. They are not the ones we need. Because we need it to have held a specific item. Now I'm not sure if you can actually get one regularly and then evolve it by holding the item. But there is a requirement afterwards. So what I'm going to need to do is find this bishop surrounded by a pawnyard. And when I find one I'll come straight back. Because there's no guarantee that they're going to spawn. The bishops do spawn here. But there's no guarantee that they will be surrounded by pawnyards as the leader. So I'll be back when I find one. Ah, finally, we found one. Okay, so I'm just going to show off on the map where we are. We are in the Bamboo Fields in the North Province Area 1, sort of between that and the Area 2. Most commonly, you should know, because there's a Pokemon Center right next to it. And also, if you haven't completed it yet, like I haven't, there will be the Starfall mission for the fighting guy just on the right of it. So, what you need to do is you need to basically come up to this Bishop here and catch him. So, he should have a specific item called a Leader's Crest. Now that's very important to have, because without that, you're not really going to be able to get one. It has to be holding the leader's crest, so I'm just going to chuck some balls at it and hope for the best. But, if not, I will skip to it in a minute when we catch it. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we have one with the leader's crest, and it doesn't want to stay. Okay, one, two, three, yes! We got ourselves the bishop. Now we do need to check, obviously it does have the leader's crest, but... With the fact that it is surrounded by other Pokemon known as Pawnyard, which is its pre-evolution, it should definitely have it. So we'll just double check. We're not going to give it a nickname, but we do need to use this specific Bishop now that we have it. So we're going to add it to the party, and we're going to check it out. That is relatively the easiest part. The next part is the tricky bit. So we're just going to double check after its friends decide it wants its leader back. Sorry, bud. You're mine. <laughs> So, just to double check, it does show it there in the main thing, but I'll show you in the summary screen too. So, it there, it is below my face cam, the leader's crest. So, basically, what you need to make sure is it has that held item on. I'm not sure, as I mentioned, whether or not you can have it, so you just give it to it and then do this step. But it will be handy to find out if I get a shiny one in the future. I will test it and leave it in the comments below this video. If, say, I do get a random one and evolve it, also, there's probably definitely information online of people doing this first because they beat me to it and I'm slow. But what we need to do now is the tricky part. So we now have everything we need to get our King's Gambit evolved. But the question is, how do we evolve it? What we need to do is we need to find three more of those packs of a Bishop followed by a bunch of Pawnyards and kill three of them with our Pawnyard. So basically, what that means is they are all going to be holding the Leader's Crest. So what that means is we need to basically kill them and take their Leader's Crest to use up their little clan and steal their Pawnyards away from them. So we are the strongest and that kind of thing. But we need to find three, kill them, and then as soon as that happens, we just level it up. So I am going to find the remaining three and be back when I do because, God, they're going to be a little bit of a pain to find. <laughs> <gasps> Shiny Cypher! No way! I'm just in the middle of the King's Gambit video! Oh, we got a full on Shiny Cypher! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I really need to make sure I don't kill this. Um, please don't kill me either. Okay, you killed me, that's fine. Shiny Cypher! Okay, well, this is definitely staying in the video now. <laughs> Come on, please stay! I'm mashing the A button and everything. Critical. Yes! <laughs> we got a shiny, shiny Scyther for our tutorial video. Uh, I guess I should say I don't guarantee the fact you'll get a shiny, but <laughs> we just did. <laughs> what? Okay, finally found number one. <laughs> After the Scyther, that is. Um, this is the tricky part. So what we need to do is obviously we need to kill three of them. So here's the first one. It cannot be any of the random roaming ones on their own. It has to be the ones surrounded by the pawn yards. And also the tricky part is being obviously the same level. So the fact of, you know, yes, it's going to be a very slow battle. A lot of healing required and stuff like that. But it's just a case of if you have the candies or ways to level them up quicker, that's going to be a much easier way of doing so. So if you need to basically finish it off quick, 
It just needs to hit the final blow. So what you can do is the battle of attrition like I am, where it's retaliating and having cherry blossoms fly and it'd be really cool, and take forever, or obviously you can have a stronger member come out, false swipe it, and then obviously you can come in with it and finish it off. Low sweet, finish it off please. Yes! Okay, so that's number two down. God, it is so painful having a singular freaking bishop not listening to you and doing this at the same time. So I suggest 100% do, <laughs> please, please, for, <laughs> for your sakes, make sure that you have enough badges to this point. My God. And here's the last one, finally. Oh, this has taken 33 minutes to do, but we finally got to our last bishop, which is now the hardest part over, but... Ugh, mine still doesn't listen to me, so I'm just gonna cut until we kill it. Low sweep, please. Oh! Kill! Yes! Okay, finally! That is my third and final bishop down. So all we need to do is level it up. So, what I'm gonna do is I don't have any rare candies on me, unfortunately, so I'm gonna come back again when this is all over with. So, see you in a minute! Okay, this should be our last battle we need to do to get the enough XP... God, this is taken. This is taken forever. But hopefully, with this Dracloak down, that should be it. We should have our level 53 if it if it levels up. Hey! So hopefully now, with all the king's crests used and it leveled up, our bishop is evolving. So I can confirm you can swap out as long as it gets the final blow. But here it is. After you do all of that, your bishop will successfully evolve into a king's gambit how badass is this pokemon i have never seen such a cooler samurai in my life king's gambit is finally here well, i'm glad we finally got there it took us 43 minutes in recording time just to get this boy and he has his signature move koto cleave which we are absolutely going to teach so it's an 85 power move and it never misses. It's so good. It's so good. We're going to replace that with Night Slash because he's a physical attacker. And there we go. That is how you get your King's Gambit in Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. He looks awesome. I love him to bits. And I love the fact that when he when, when you move around, he's on his little seat. He's got such long hair. He sits down on it like a giant badass. The best part is when he moves around. Look at him! <laughs> <laughs> Look how quickly he goes. But that is how you get your King's Gambit in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. I hope you found it useful and helpful. If you did enjoy it, leave a like below. And if you want to see anything in the future, leave a comment below as well. If you enjoyed and want to see more stuff I do in the future and see when the next one comes out, remember to drop a subscription. It costs you nothing. And remember, you can always subscribe later when you realize you don't like me. So until next time, I've been Annoyed Vern. He's been King Gambit. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!